Welcome back to L.A. Noir. You're Phelps, right? Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Oh. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in A California. lot of back and forth, it seems. Printing company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? So sure. Marquis legitimate, they're the numbers Liso are legitimate, but the they're obviously Pedro. not. The Something's wrong here. Lightball. Gordon Lightball. So we got a new person of interest in this strange case, Gordon Lightvall. This is a great lead. The guy who uh, who runs Marquee Printing, the guy who's making these fucking pink slips, these li these illegitimate, legitimate pink slips. Uh oh. Oh, she has been spotted. Let's go get her. We got her. We gotta get that bitch. Or broad, whatever the b word we used to call women in this time. Broad, baby. I don't know. Uh, quick, get get to let's go. Let's get go. to getting. Uh, oh, hot dog stand. Oh, oh, oh traffic light. Oh, oh car, well, oh, oh car and uh, well. oh my god, there's so much destruction happening. Come on, we don't want to lose her. That's right. Yeah, there she is. I mean, Run I right into her. I could have walked there. Well, it's a good thing you didn't. The Western Union office check cashing all sorts of shit. Oh, shit. this kind of seedy place. I hate these places. LAPD. We'll take it from here. God damn it. Everyone's against me. <laughs> Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? Sorry, broad. Let me complete my crime first before you guys take me away. A break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. She's using her feminine wiles. Phelps, don't fall for it. Not very good feminine wiles. Can you please let me slit your throat, Mr. Officer, sir? They didn't invent sexiness until the 1960s. This will... It's not gonna work for you, Gene. Gene, more like Jane, as in plain Jane! As in lying, doubted Jane! Yeah. <laughs> as in lying, bitch! I mean, broad! Oh, jeez. I was just doing what they do. What? They pay me 50 bucks to drive the car. I made oh. two grand selling it. You made zero. And if they catch you, you're dead. Is that all your life's worth? Look, a girl needs things. I don't see you looking out for me. I'm trying to help you. I need to... How long have you and Belasco been in the cars? What's Who the is word? James Belasco? Save you? I don't know what I'm, what I'm looking for. James Belasco. I don't remember mentioning his first name, Miss Archer. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Huh. Ain't that funny, huh? Slip of the tongue, as it were! Uh, oh, that's why it's called slip of the tongue. Oh! <laughs> so, I'll go down here to the stolen auto courier, and there you go! You and James Ow! Belasco share the what same an insulter! Pink slips. We have him in his cell. Okay, so I know the creep. The pink, the pink slips are real, real, the home addresses are vacant are lots, and they use that lots. to buy cars that the they that she gives to him so he can sell, but she's not getting enough store. money. Don't try and sell the car. Uh. Tell me where you picked up the car, Miss Archer. So where'd she get the car Look, from? I, I can't remember. Let me go, will you? Please. What have I got to do? Tell the truth, for one. I'm my patience here, Jean. I'll have the reporters down here and have your picture <laughs> in all the papers. You'll have nowhere to run. All right, uh -oh. already. I get the message. I pick up the cars. Oh, look at that! Industrial Street. Industrial Street. Hey, wait a minute. Big warehouse. Didn't we have an Industrial Street earlier last episode? Got what you want? Can I go? Please. No, you sure can. We've got a car waiting outside for you. Yeah. Ah. Some career advice, Gene. Get out of crime. Marry someone boring who has money and will find you captivating. <laughs> Is this guy for real? So we got the Sunset Strip outfit to, because we reached yeah, rank 8. Generally be Ooh. Very nice. And because we got all three of those correctly, I guess because we didn't fall for her feminine wiles, we get a brief transition. Seeing her getting thrown into the truck, well, even though we could just kind of walk her there because it's like right around the corner. And... A new car! We got a trophy or achievement! Haha! <laughs> Femme imbecile! Wow! <laughs> so we'll uh, switch into the Sunset Strip, which is oh, I don't I don't like it that much, but it's it's all right. Ugh. 
Showed up colors. for showed up for a little bit at least. I'm not a fan of brown suits, light brown suits. I prefer the darker ones because I'm a dark man, dark and mysterious. So we'll head to the Marquee Printing Company and uh, see what we can figure out about these pink slips. Excuse me. Excuse me. Server protect. Server protect. Server protect. Used to getting her own way. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. I think all God charms are useless me. against Cole Phelps. I could have sworn he said imbecile Cole Phelps, and that would have made it so much funnier. She's not my type. And what Again, I, I invite you to make as much fun at that. Cole Phelps as you can. Inside, you? Wait, scrap that second half of the question. Uh, I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Why is it always blondes? Man is human after all. It's like, oh, she has a certain type of hair color. That means that I want to have sex with her. Hey, it's bright and cheery. And, I don't know, blondes have more fun? I don't know. Yeah, what if a brunette bleaches her hair? Does that mean she has more fun now? I don't know. I'm into redheads. I'm into my wife, so hey. Welcome to Marquee Printing Company. Marquay. Uh, oh, Marquay. So this guy's got some answers. He's got some questions that we need answered. He has some answers, I guess. I've got questions that need answering. I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? We need to tell the QA about the Q&A department. We understand your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done so this is the guy who here. prints the pink slips, the legitimate, illegitimate pink slips. Stolen recently? Mm -hmm. We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Hmm. Not recently. Have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. Uh, artists? Keep forgery? I don't know about that. So, uh, we got a few questions we want to ask him first before we, uh, you know, figure out here. Does, like, does he know anything about the, th the thievery going on around here? He's got two auto cases, two pink slips that come from here that are, well, both the cars are stolen, but the paperwork is legitimate and the address leads to a vacant lot. So, what do you know about that? We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here. They were printed here. You better give me something. Better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Good lord. As a matter of Another fact, problem a couple years ago? So this thing happens a ago. lot? A number of used or at least, again. Hmm. So used car lots selling <sighs> blank documents. Oh, sheesh. A crime syndicate? Cliff Harrison and Damn. Black. This is getting... Whoa. <laughs> We're getting no, deep not. now. <laughs> Dude. Harrison bought his so Harrison bought the car from Coon. Pink slip looks good. Mm -hmm. Pink slip looks as good as points the fingers here. The no, pink slips are, like... Those are the things. Something, screened. something about the pink slips is just not sitting oh, with me here. Now that I think about it, the name Coombs oh. sounds familiar. Familiar. I think they oh. may have been involved, involved in stolen, stolen documents, in, documents the in the past. So you think Coombs has something to do with this? I think you're lying. Hmm. You have a, delivery you have a ledger for that, perhaps? I would like to cross check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the it's ordinary. a little out of the ordinary, detective. I'm not sure I'm not I can sure share those sorts of records. Ah, oh, no, he's getting defensive. You don't want us having bad you thoughts. Don't want <laughs> having oh. bad thoughts, yeah. I don't want to think about you. It's not irregular. The first case we did in the the very first case of the game, we talked to a gunshot bonus like, "Can we see your ledger?" He's like, "Yeah, sure." So, uh, he must be hiding something here. All right, so, Marquee Printing Company. Look for patterns. <laughs> Let's see. Point at the pop-up book, Phelps. Ah. Occurring names. Let's see what we got here. I'm mean, looking for mm. it's like, wait. Ah, you know, you know what I see? I see a name popping up a lot. The Bigelow because fellow that Gene like was that. telling us about. Mr. Bigelow is a good mm. Mm. Also at 58 Industrial Street. So, Sorry, I Bob, think we have a focal you know point for all this shit. To Industrial Street! That's apparently where all the bad shit's going on. Take out Mr. Bigelow. All I can think of is Deuce Bigelow. I know. The fucking Rob Schneider movie. <clears throat> yeah, just because one popular movie had one popular name. Yeah. <sighs> I think Excuse me, can you drive? Yeah, I'm gonna have him drive. It's just, uh, yeah. where are we going? Let's go down to 58 Industrial Street. The warehouse where I guess these cars are being sold or whatnot. 
Then maybe we can find out what's going on with these fucking pink slips. Everybody's getting fired today. I'm surprised Phelps hasn't been fired yet. Eh, we'll get there. Wait, what? Huh? Oh. I didn't say anything. Loading! Gotta love those Xbox 360 load times, huh? You gotta love Rockstar game load times. Jeez. I think we should call for a couple of black and whites. Get the flesh down here. I thought you Marines were gung ho, Cole. We should, we should call for backup to help us out with this shootout that's going to happen. It's like, oh, come on! You, you killed a whole bunch of people in the war, so you can kill some more people now! I gotta say, I love the facial expressions when he said, Oh, you got a 45! Cole was like, <sighs> Yeah, but... <sighs> well, let's go with our 45 and see if we can't, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, a 45 is a big gun. It's like Dirty Harry oh, shit going on LAPD. here. What's up, everybody? Oh, you, downtown with me. All right, so, who wants to die? You? All right, you can die. You want to die. Who else? Uh, and uh, there, that pole wants to die. Uh, uh, and, oh, uh, that crane over there. That box uh -huh. wants to die. You! Guy Ooh, that's a, oh, Whoa, laggy. Okay, all right. Come on, 360. You can do it. Come on, baby. There we go. That guy that wants to die. Dead. Who's next? That's, you, uh, that, that, that guy. Too. He's dead. There's a red spot right around next here to somewhere. Yep, right around here. Where can he be? Uh, hey there, hello. There Who's next? Oh, you? All right. Oh, that paint can wanted to die. It's a good thing I keep bullets around in my pocket like spare change. That car wants to die. No one's going to be stealing that car now. Oh, is this a chop shop? I just realized this I... guy might be ta taking gun or guns, taking cars apart and making new cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, there sure. Yeah, whatever. There we go. I had to make sure he was dead. I just hit him a couple times. I didn't think mm -hmm, he'd want to right. get back up, so... It's All like right. double tap on a zombie. Main office is upstairs, though. All right, who's next? You! Okay. Okay, so I thought your partner was a bad guy, and I was wondering why you weren't Stay shooting down. him until I saw, like, the matching hat and everything. Oh, God! Jesus, Cole. All right, all right. Uh-huh. You know what I've had to go through to get here? Fuck you! All right. Let's take a look around here. He's got his hands up, but my partner does not have his gun on him, which he should. So what do we got here? Now let's see, some mouse traps, a savings bond. Oh. Marquee Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. Mm, Marquee again. They're tied up in this too. And what do we have here? Betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightball has been on a losing streak. Oh, oh, great. The head of Marquee Company has got bad betting slips because he's probably got some gambling debts, so he's probably using these pink slips in order to pay for that. As we look here, and what do we got there? A whole Holy box crap. filled with pink slips. There's enough We've There's enough pink slips to keep stealing cars forever. Cars that leads right to your door, baby. Or at least until you're Christmas. Up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier. Yeah, yourself. until Christmas, and it's like March. I do work on cars for customs. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the ballot of bulge. I can't give you anything. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, I can give you a bullet to the head if you don't oh, ask my questions correctly. Right you can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. So who is the guy who's That's helping you steal these cars? The I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem there. Actually, there is a problem. You lying I'm fuck. Lying. I'm not in the mood for any more lies. Real not in the mood. <laughs> really not in the mood, okay? Looks like I was mistaken. What? We gotta there doubt him. Alright, alright. <laughs> wow, what an asshole! So I, I can kill you, and it will just be an extra hour of paperwork for me. It won't mean nothing to me. Jesus! So Lightval, the guy we talked to earlier, he's the big shot. He's the guy who's all in on this. Because he owes a mm. lot of he owes a lot of money because of the gambling Paul, debts. The guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. One well, of the guys lying over there. Oh, you lying prick! You're right. <laughs> you he's fucking lying. lying prick. He's like, yeah, he's one of the guys you shot on the way up here. I don't think so. So I'm gonna remove an answer so I don't have uh, all these intuition uh -huh. points out there. Yeah, you're fucking lying. 
Is that really the best lie? I mean, I could even tell he was lying. He's like, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's him over there, you know? Yeah, so anyway... Gordon Lightball owns Marquis If I'm not mistaken, I think by using an intuition point, if you accuse somebody, it removes uh, some incorrect evidence you can use to accuse him with. Man, that's pretty nice. Twenty grand. Twenty grand. Contracts will be all over. He's he's twenty grand, nineteen forty-seven dollars in debt. Jesus Christ! Holy crap! right, you'll be able to count your time in Quentin on one hand. All right, because he helped us, he probably is going to get, like, you know, five years or less. So, good for him. He's right. still going away. No, he's still <laughs> going away. It's, he's still a bad guy, you know, so... Later! But now, we gotta get the real bad guy. We gotta go back to Marquee Printing and take care of this lightful motherfucker. I have a feeling we're gonna have a chase on foot! Let's go! All right, just gotta run back to my car here, and, uh... Yeah, I hope Gordon Lightfall didn't send anybody to assassinate me. Now he knows that he knows I'm on his track and excuse me. Oh god! What? What? He got me. He got me. That he counted as a death? He sent an assassin and he ran me over. Light <laughs> lightly bumped into my shin. It was enough to kill me, I guess, but. <laughs> well, I mean, you did get trapped against your car door. Okay, didn't see that one coming. <laughs> so, yeah. You, pre you press back on the controller, select. You bring up the notebook so you can figure out wh where your waypoint is. That's how you set your waypoint. Took me a while to figure that out, though, but... Y y you know, I'm wondering if that assassin was the, the guy you stole the car from in this episode. It's all connected. <laughs> shouldn't bring guns to work with him. It was green, wasn't it? You have to admire the bare-faced cheek of someone who tried to pull your brains He came back. Hey, Mr. Lightball, can you spare me a car? I got a debt to settle. I think he's got the debt to settle. That's right. We're gonna settle his debt. In prison! Alright, I gotta find a way to get there. It's a uh, faster way to get Please don't get stuck again. Please don't get stuck again. Oh my god, please don't get stuck again. I'm not gonna get stuck. I mean, I kinda want it to happen. I blame my siren. That guy took off running. He just scared the shit out of that guy. Oh, shit! No! Oh. You know, I kind of want to see you get stuck again, just to have you do this mission all over again. Oh, yeah. You have to sit here even more. Be a well-respected cop. Yeah, let's drive the cinematic. Oh, oh, Jesus! Right. Well, Take it easy. Oh. Car. the car's dead again. Piece. Yeah, and so is their car. I killed that car. I killed two cars in that one crash, so I'm taking yours. Sir, step out of the car, please. LAPD. Ah, fucking whatever. Hey, you mooch! A Cadillac limousine? That's a limo? Wow. I mean, maybe they're just. Uh, well, I mean. I was about to say maybe they're only big in America, but this is America. We are in America. Well, it's an Australian game, but. Whoa, boy! Oh! All right, just menace. skimmed it. We're good. We're good. Uh, Whoops, excuse me. All right, cinematic mode is useless. It is so worthless. <laughs> I know, right? Was that gunfire? I think I hit something. Oh, okay. Yeah, back to Marquee. Talk to Gordon Lateval and say, Hey, you're the guy who's buying all this, and you've got that's and all that shit, so uh, <sighs> you're coming with us. He's reaching for his gun. I see him in there. He's reaching for his gun. Mm. Look out, Phelps. He's got a gun. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. Nah. Thin like your hairline. We found a box Ooh, of pink sick burn, Phelps. You three-time loser. I signed for them, light bulb. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. Well, I got something better than that. Let me reach for my mm. 45 here. You dirty liar. We already have all we need to send you down. Yeah, we fucking do. Enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. You might want to have to call your attorney because I've got a gigantic big ol' fucking ham dinner. Oh, you can look, look at your, uh... <laughs> He's like, um, uh, yeah. shit. But yeah, call your attorney. You're gonna need it. I've got proof like no other. We know about the debts, Lightball. 
I agree. I have a small problem. That is not small. a small problem, I'm buddy. I'll help you in any way I can, detective. I'll name names. Uh, I mean, if the sixteen thousand dollar insurance fraud from the last case is like what six hundred twenty? He's all, he's all like, God, how many thousands? So almost a million dollars, even? Jeez. I'd, I'd probably say about half a million dollars, judging by inflation. I'd say more than that. But man, the LAPD Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring. Writes crime correspondent. Blah blah blah. Oh, here it is. Here we go. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the scene. The LAPD... It's like, yeah, yeah, people are saying, but look at that. You casualties. killed someone and no Damn one died. You killed a lot of people. Well done, Phelps. Bad guys, God, this is you? modern America. How did Rockstar know? I want to finish reading this. I want to... Jack off to my cops doing wonderful work. Yeah, that's that's great. Oh yeah, tell me more about how they killed those twelve people. Yes. Yeah, we got twenty out of twenty-one questions right. Would, mm, we, so terrible. I bet we would have gotten four stars if we would have answered that one question right. So yeah, that's a slip of the tongue. And we'll see you next time for another brand new exciting fucking case. Next time on L.A. Noir. But before then. What's up? Let's have another military flashback. Oh. My family runs a shipping business in San Francisco. We used to have two ships a week to Tokyo. We've been in shipping for two generations, Hank. Now you're shipping I'm out. Been on a voyage anywhere. <laughs> I feel like Odysseus in the beginning of his journey. The Odyssey took ten years, Cole. This is the American century. America. <laughs> I love how Cole brushes that off. He's like, I knew that. Before. Anyway. We need to stay alive, Cole. These men are counting on us. Have you heard what the veterans are saying to each other? No. Golden Gate in 48. Golden Gate in 48. That's four more hard years of They think fighting. the war is going to end in, like, 1948. But, uh, as we all know, it didn't. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll see you next time on L.A. Noir.